Dear students, in this video, let's see the demonstration of the resolving power of a telescope experiment. The aim of the experiment is to determine the resolving power of a telescope. The apparatus required for doing this experiment are telescope, rectangular adjustable slit, wire mesh, traveling microscope and a meter scale. The formula used in the experiment are theoretical resolving power is equal to A by lambda and practical resolving power is equal to capital D by small d. Where lambda is the mean wavelength of the light employed, A is the width of the rectangular slit for just resolution of two objects, small d is the separation between two objects and capital D is the distance of the objects from the objective of the telescope. Let's see how to do the experiment. Now mount the telescope and the wire mesh on two separate stands and place them at a distance of about 1 meter. Now focus the telescope such that the horizontal and vertical lines of the wire mesh are in the field of view of the eyepiece. Now attach the rectangular adjustable slit over the objective lens of the telescope such that the slit is perfectly vertical. Gradually reduce the width of the slit using the micrometer screw till the vertical lines just cease to appear and only the horizontal lines are present. Fix that position of the slit as just result. Take the slit and measure its width with the help of a travelling microscope. Focus the travelling microscope until you get a sharp image of the slit. Place the cross wire at one end and take down the readings from the horizontal scale. Now move the cross wire to the other end and note down the readings. Repeat the experiment by varying the distance between object and the objective lens of the telescope. The readings for three different capital D values are shown in this table. Now we have to measure the distance between two vertical lines in the wire mesh with the help of a travelling microscope. Again focus the travelling microscope until you get a sharp image of the wire mesh. Place the cross wire at one end and take down the readings from the horizontal scale. Move the cross wire to the other end and note down the readings. The readings for the small d values are shown in this table. Now that you have all the readings, start doing your calculation and submit your report. Thank you so much.